scientific notation in Java. So it's good practice to make the leading digit non-zero in a floating point literal. Scientific notation is represented in Java using what's called E notation. So in this table we could see that if we had the decimal notation 187.01, in scientific notation that would be 1.8701 times 10 to the second power, which basically means you move the decimal to the right two spaces because of the two in the second power. And in Java you would write it out with E notation by saying 1.8701 capital E and the number 2, which E2 basically replaces the times 10 to the second power. And in another example, 0 0.0069 in scientific notation would be 6.9 times 10 to the negative 3, which means you move the decimal three places to the left to get the original number back again. And in E notation, it would be 6.9 E minus 3. And then 2,110,000 would be represented as 2.11 times 10 to the 6th power, meaning you move the decimal 6 places to the right to get the original value. And in scientific E notation in Java, that would be 2.11 E6. So let's take a look at a Java example where we use E notation. So I'm going to create a double called big number and I'm going to assign it to 53 point all this no, this giant number right there. So now let's print it out and see what happens. System that out that print line big number. And it I mean it prints it out. It looks fine, but let's make it even bigger. Okay, so I'm just typing some random numbers in there. And there it is. And check out what it did. It automatically changed it to 5.34 and it added E notation in there automatically for me. So it says this number times 10 to the 11th power is basically what it means. So when you see an E in your output, don't freak out. It's just E notation in Java because the number was too big to just write it out. It decided to do it as E notation. And with a much smaller set, I guess it still does that. And you can even assign the numbers directly to E notation by saying 4.56 E10. And you can do something just like that, and it'll print it out exactly the way that you wrote it. And you can multiply this by 2.5. 4, 2, E2, and let's see what that does. And we get this weird number. So, and I guess that is what you get when you multiply these two numbers together. So this is just some very basic examples of showing Java E notation.